It's Wine Wednesday. Welcome, everybody. And I'm so excited that this is actually our first um, Wine Wednesday edition. I bought myself a glass of wine. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful evening. And I want to talk to you guys about sweet potatoes. Okay. Um, so sweet potatoes, a beautiful starchy root vegetable. Okay. That come in different, um, different styles. So there's purple ones or um, white ones. They actually have, they actually make one that is purple on the inside. And then there's also orange sweet potatoes. So when you slice these, they are orange. Um, okay, so potatoes, sweet potatoes, um, they've got a couple of really cool health benefits um, that I want to share with you. Um, so I wrote it all down so that I don't forget. So there's, they're high in fiber, <clears throat> they promote gut health. Um, they support healthy vision because they're loaded with beta carotene. Um, they are um, low glycemic, so low GI. Okay, it's so also very good for you. And there's a multitude of things that you can actually do with them. So I'm going to show you guys um, a couple of things that we can actually do with these sweet potatoes. From steaming to roasting to a combination method. And with that, you'll obviously also get three nice recipes that you can that you can make okay so i've got the two soup potatoes here the two kinds and we are going to be working with both of them so i'm going to get wash my hands and get ready and then we'll do some sweet potatoes to start with i'll see you in a bit so the first um the first recipe that i want to show you guys super easy one of my most favorite recipes to make, and for this specific one, I use the orange sweet potatoes, okay? And these are roasted sweet potato wedges. Um, and what we do is we roast them in the oven, and when they come out, we drizzle them. And you can drizzle them with pretty much anything that you want. So it could be um, a smoky barbecue sauce. It could be a sweet chili sauce. It could be a favorite basting sauce of, of, of yours that you want to use. But that will do a little bit later when they come out of the oven. So the first thing I want to um, do here is slice these guys up for you. Um, so also, um, if you don't peel your sweet potatoes, um, it's actually very good because there's a lot of additional nutrients and fiber actually lives in the skin. Okay, so just keep the skin on. So all we're going to do is slice these guys in half. I've already washed them um, and then we'll turn them on their stomach and we'll slice them again and we'll slice them again so remember the smaller you slice them the faster they'll cook okay so just remember that so these guys we can also and just slice like that same over here slice it off. And like so and you can see these guys are really nice and orange on the inside this one we can actually cut a little bit smaller same here same here okay so now what we do is we add these guys to a little bowl you can also add them to a roasting tray if you want to um, or you can add them into um, a little bowl like this so I think we might have more um, more sweet potatoes for our little bowl than we want to um, so I'm going to use a roasting tray for that okay so first what we do is um, add them to a bowl add some olive oil boom, 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 boom. about two tablespoons and then some pepper and some salt Pretty easy. Mix them together in a bowl. Also, a really nice recipe here is if you do salt, pepper, olive oil, and you add some coconut milk with a little bit of ginger and chili, and then you can do almost like a potato bake. That's also another another recipe that you can make here. Okay. So then what you want to do with these is kind of stretch them out, spread them out, and then place them on their backs. 
like this. And this is going to go into the oven for, you'll have to check it depending on your oven, but it's normally about 30 to 35 minutes on a 180 degree oven. And then they become really nice and soft and beautiful and brown. And then we'll take them out and we'll drizzle them with some sauce. So this is going to go into the oven right now. So now that the wedges are in the oven and roasting, um, I want to show you how to quickly steam some sweet potatoes in a bowl using a microwave. Okay, so you can see we've got some orange ones and so on. So these will be used a little bit or actually we can use all of them. So what you want to do is add your sweet potatoes to a bowl. You add about four to five tablespoons of water. Okay. And then you cover it with plastic wrap. Yeah. Cover it with some plastic wrap. So also remember when you're covering with, with plastic wrap, uh, remember to poke some holes into your container. And the reason you're doing that is because the water creates steam um, and the plastic will obviously um, rise. And if you don't have any holes poked into it, it will just explode. Okay, so we put some holes into that. And then this goes into your microwave for about 10 minutes. But now, I've seen this before. Depending on the size of the sweet potato, sometimes they might not be soft. So after 10 mini mi minutes, we'll open it, the plastic wrap. We'll check if they're soft enough. If they're not soft enough, it's perfectly fine. Then we just put them in for another 5 minutes. So I'm going to put these in the microwave quickly and then I'll come back. Okay, so the sweet potato should definitely be ready by now. And I brought a couple of ingredients that um, I'm going to uh, use to make our next two recipes. So I'm just going to get these out of our, our microwave oven. Right, so always just remember guys, when the when you take it out of the microwave oven, it is very hot, so never open the plastic towards yourself. Um, always open the plastic away from you so that the steam can actually escape and it doesn't burn you, okay? So like I mentioned earlier, if you think that, um, or if you feel that the sweet potatoes are not soft yet, when you test them, um, you can always just put them back into the microwave oven for a little bit longer. These guys seem to be pretty ready and nice and soft. Okay, so two things I want to make here with these. The first one is smashed sweet potatoes. See, these are also one of my favorite recipes to make where you steam the sweet potato like this and then we're actually going to crush them, um, sprinkle them with salt, pepper, olive oil, a little bit of melted butter and we grate parmesan cheese over it and then we're actually going to put it into the oven. Okay, so that's the first one. So we need some equipment out. Like here. I'm going to pop this into the microwave to melt for a little bit. Now, if you feel um, that it's too hot for you, that it's too hot to work with the sweet potatoes, um, and you're a little bit scared that it might leak some water or spew some water at you, and what you can do is just put your sweet potato down, cover it with a cloth, and then you'll use the back of a glass, a, a pretty sturdy glass. Always, also just be careful when you hold it not to grip it too tight because you don't want it to crack. Okay, what you can also do is take a plate and, and cover it with a plate and press down gently. So again here, we don't want to flatten it completely. We just want to smash it. So you just press down. 
you can see that's what that's what happens to it okay so then we'll move it to the one side so these are really nice and soft just move them out to the one side and then I'll do another one I'll do an orange one so you can see as you press them down they do release a little bit of water so just be careful when you smash them crush them that you get them. okay so that's what obviously what they're going to look like when they are nice and orange and these are the white ones the white soup potatoes now uh, we will get some of the melted butter some melted butter and then salt and pepper okay and then what we can do is if you have um, garlic that is in a container like this you can mix the garlic in otherwise you can use fresh garlic and you can um, smash the cloves and then chop them up and mix them with the butter. So you make a little bit of a garlic butter sauce here. Okay, then we'll brush these guys with this beautiful melted butter. And this is really just to guide you. So obviously if you're cooking for five, six, eight, ten people, you will just adapt according to to that okay then we'll take some parmesan cheese so this is some really um, mature parmesan and we'll grate that and you want to use the, the the small side of the grater okay parmesan and then that just goes on top like this boom boom, boom. Okay, and then this will go into the oven, 180, 190 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes. And what's going to happen is this butter at the crushed edges will become crispy and the cheese will melt on top. And then when they come out, they'll be brown and beautiful. So these will go into the oven and then I'll come back and show you guys quickly how to make the mash. Okay, so those are in the oven. They're ready. We've got a couple of minutes left for the roast sweet potatoes. Then I'll take them out and I'll show you what we'll do with them. So here we have the remainder of our sweet potatoes. And I'm just going to drain the water off that was in here. And now to make a very easy sweet potato mash. So again, we don't take the skins off. We just add the sweet potatoes to... A bowl. We can move these bits off. Boom, boom, boom. So a really cool thing here also, um, if the sweet potatoes are cooked like this, you can actually slice them a little bit finer into discs. Okay, and depending obviously on the size of the sweet potato. Um, you can pan fry these. So if you brush them with a little bit of olive oil, you can pan fry them. And you can use this instead of toast. So you can put scrambled eggs on top or smashed avo or so on if you, if you are a little bit more carb conscious. Okay. Or you can also slice them like this into discs. You can pack them into a baking tray. You can sprinkle them with cinnamon sugar and top them with a little bit of evaporated milk or um, cream. And you bake them in the oven and then you have a really nice cinnamon pudding bake. Okay. So, so many cool things we can do with that. So in here we add pepper, salt, and then this melted butter. It doesn't have to be all of it. So we're doing a nice garlicky, garlicky mash. Okay. And then we just use our mincer or masher and we just mash this together okay beautiful and easy so this will obviously be more of a rustic a rustic mash that will make 
and then we'll add a little bit of milk to this just a dash you could of course add cream also if you wanted to um, if you wanted a healthier version you could leave the butter out and you could just add a, a dash of coconut milk And there you have a beautiful, creamy, sweet potato hash. Okay, so I'm just going to bring it all together so I can show you guys. So there's a really nice sweet potato mash. Okay, so I'm quickly going to run to the oven, get those beautiful wedges, take them out, and then top them so you can see what they look like. So I'll be back in a second. They are both ready. Just look at them guys. How beautiful are beautiful. So these are beautifully roasted and they're nice and soft. You can taste them. And then these ones have caramelized so beautifully. You can see the, the cheese is melted and they just look amazing. They look so, so, so good. Okay. So with these guys, what we want to do is if you have a chicken breast or a protein anything you want to put on top here you absolutely can or you can use it as a side dish where you lay it out and you can then just add some spring onions or some chopped parsley or serve it as is okay so these guys are going to go up on a beautiful plate boom and boom okay take away put it over here and then for these guys they're now completely up to you when they come out of the oven and they're nice and steaming hot you can decide to drizzle them with a sauce so I have different ones here there's a smoky barbecue sauce which is really nice there's a sweet chili sauce it also works well here and I think Let's go for the sweet chili sauce. So all you do is line them up. You can actually put them on a plate. I've got one here. Line them up on a plate like this. Do that. And then take the sweet chili sauce and drizzle it over like that. And then I like to use some sesame seeds, sprinkle them with some sesame seeds, like so. And then what I've done here is I've taken coriander, fresh coriander, and then I've chopped it in the, in the food processor and I added some oil to it. Okay, so I'm actually just going to use a spoon here. And then just dollop with some curry, fresh coriander in oil. Okay, that's also nice. You could also do spring onions if you wanted to. You could do some basil if you wanted to. And that's, how cool is that? How nice is that? So that's definitely one option. That's definitely one option. And that's definitely another option. Okay, so really cool things that you guys can do with sweet potatoes enjoy them tag us in the pictures if you've made them at fooding chef and we'll see you again soon for another wine wednesday thanks guys enjoy your dinner enjoy your time enjoy your wine